France may be the half-source of Britain's ancient DNA. 3,000 years ago, there was a large movement of people from France into Britain, which might explain why the northern and southern inhabitants of the island had different heritage. From the greatest ever investigation of ancient DNA, Nature released Wednesday's results that might throw light on how Celtic languages came to Britain. People in Britain 4,500 years ago had a common lineage, according to earlier study. Today, that has changed, with people in the South having more in common with an ancient group of people called early European farmers. DNA samples from throughout the British Isles and most of Europe dating back to BC 1500-43 AD were sequenced by Harvard geneticist David Reich and his colleagues to discover why. Results suggest that between 3,300 and 2,800 years ago, there was an inflow of migrants from France whose genetic composition most closely mirrored that of ancient samples. One of the most fascinating aspects of the research, Reich told AFP, is the breadth and depth of ancient DNA studied. This is the biggest ancient DNA research yet done, with approximately 800 genomes and over 220 authors. Celtic languages may have arrived in Britain at the same time as the Exodus, according to a new idea. Reich claims that the names of geographical places in southern England and France are similar enough to suggest that France is the source of the spread. Bones from ancient sites, museums, and DNA laboratories around the UK and Europe were collected by archaeologist Ian Armit of the University of York. Old DNA sequencing is a gift to archaeology giving not just a clearer picture of population shifts but also revealing information on the dynamics of ancient family structures, he added.